My name is Edward Buck. I'm the VP of Services and Support at United Layer. The problem is that if they're successful, they now have access to your machine and if they actually use the administrator account or the root user to log into the machine, then they have full administrative access to everything on that machine, which means you've basically been compromised. The first step is the obvious step, which is to use secure passwords. Um, the scripts that uh, typically run these uh, brute force attacks aren't sophisticated enough or uh, they don't have uh, time, basically, to go through and uh, do a brute force involving every possible randomly generated password, so they focus on the ones that, are, that people tend to use. Change the default SSH port. Um, the default SSH port is 22, and you, know, you can change that to any port you want, actually, uh, preferably one that's, let's say, over 1,000. You know, there is a configuration option within most SSH daemons, including OpenSSH, to basically deny root logins over SSH. Uh, so what that'll do is make sure that there is no possibility of a uh, you know, SSH brute force compromise using the root account, which would give them you know, unfettered access to the server. They would have everything on that machine. I would say in the majority of cases, they're probably not necessarily after that person or that company's data and more likely they want to basically take that server and use it for its own purposes. Um, some typical purposes would be to uh, use it as a means of denial of service attacks on different sites. So it'll then send lots of data to some third party site and so you're basically an un unwitting participant in that attack. Uh, or they may be using it to generate spam. So they'll basically send spam from your address and uh, you're basically helping to send more spam on the internet. Um, or they may use it to transfer files. So they may actually use it as a staging ground for hosting porn or other large files, media files, movies uh, that then get, you know, transferred and downloaded by various users on the internet. So, you know, even if the data that you have is not compromised, uh, there is a significant impact to the performance of your system. So if you are running some website on the machine or using it as a mail server or some web application, now you've suddenly seen a performance hit, which you can't explain, and only if you know that there's been this compromise will you be able to resolve the issues?